back on Mission Bay. It's been a long time since I've been out on Mission Bay and it feels good to be back on the water. Still on that kayak program. I'm having fun fishing it, so you gotta keep doing what's fun. Give you a quick update on what's going on. You guys were asking about the boat. The boat is good, the boat's fine. Everything's in working order. I'm just waiting for the water to clear up a little bit more before I start taking the boat out. And I've been pretty busy with war bait, so uh, we're still shipping a lot of orders and you guys are buying online and I really appreciate that. I like to see all those new names come through. Drop you some stickers, drop you a note, get that product out to you so you can go catch some fish. It's kind of a strange deal out here right now. There's, there's a lot of jet ski and boat traffic. Water's a little funky, still off colored, feels a little cold. I'm happy to be out here and excited to go fishing. So let's see what's biting. got a decent bite here just chewing on it look yeah <laughs> it choked it down tides flooded in so we got some new water now the water's not so skinny anymore now it's a decent depth <laughs> let's keep that going we need more we need more more action oh god good one Yeah, a really nice one, guys. You smacked it. Set the hook on him really quick. <laughs> Getting, I'm tired of losing them. <laughs> tired of losing those bites, so I put it to him. That's a solid one. <laughs> Starting to get somewhere with them now. Sharp teeth. Awesome. We'll get them in. Fishing that 3 8 ounce swim jig. The Strike King Rage Tail, brown and orange trailer. You know how they like that orange color. Fishing's been pretty tough. I have I've absolutely missed some big bites. I've definitely been searching for bites for a while now. On the last few, when, when I got bit, man, I set the hook as hard as I could. <laughs> I want these fish to stick. I had one really nice one come off right at the kayak. That was really disappointing. <laughs> and the other one was back in the docks and the fish just absolutely slammed it. Came back, the plastic was all turned upside down and gnarly. Like he destroyed it that fast. I'm trying to tune the bite in right now. I'm trying to tune in my situation. I've been way off so far today. Mission Bay is not San Diego Bay and vice versa. Got a big wind as well, so I'm having to deal with that. I got the drift sock tied up to the side of the boat right now. Uh, we're drifting at a little slower pace, which is really nice. Working that swim jig just right on the bottom now. Since I got those two fish on the swim jig, I'm gonna continue with that. Yeah. Oh my God, oh my God, he's jacking on it. What? There he goes. He must have come back for it. Oh, wow, oh wow. Dang. Dude, another nice one. Smacked the heck out of it. Like twice, I was not ready. I was over here messing with the GoPro and this guy this guy beat on it and let it sit there hoping he would come back and he did. That's a nice looking bay bass right there. Good shape, good color, just about legal I'd say. Yeah, that was a good one. Getting the little swim jig. Let's see if we can get another one. There we go, small tick. Yeah, just working the jig through the grass. Felt that little tick. <laughs> Decided to swing on it. Boy, another one. Getting that jig right in the right spot. Get that bite. And I'm having to be real quick with that hook set right now. I think this high wind has something to do with it. You know, my line's kind of flapping around a little bit. When your line's moving around, you, when you get that bite, you may not feel it right away because so much, so much bow in the line. So it's good to keep the, the line pretty tight here. I can feel the jig. 
getting right in the grass. It's like getting snagged up in it, pop it free, pause, pull it through, pull it through, pull it through, pause. So there's a lot of, a lot of that going on. That's the technique I'm working with right now. I have the drift sock anchored to the rail and you can see it there in the water. It's that yellow, it's that yellow umbrella right there. So that is a wind sock. It's slowing me down, also known as a drift sock. Slowing down the kayak. It's slowing down the kayak, giving me a better opportunity to fish more efficiently. Because that wind is blowing so fast, it makes, there you go. Felt the ticket again. The bites are really subtle right now. Some of these bites are real subtle, so that, he definitely ticked it. I'm setting the hook, I'm swinging today. <laughs> now, this fish is really warm. <laughs> I'm swinging today, so if they want a piece of it, they're gonna get the neck snapped. <laughs> All right, let's keep with it, let's keep with it. We're trying to get one every drift, that's the goal. That one happened really early in the drift, so hopefully we get another fish before, we're, before we need to reset. All right guys, so the drift sock is out here right now, so I'm just gonna hand wind it in. Hand line. And it's full of water right now. And there's a hole in the bottom, so it, it empties out. So there we go, let's go ahead and reset, do another drift. time since set the hook and drag came out uh, and broke off or bit off I probably got I think I got bit off let's see yeah we got bit off got bit off so this is 12 pound line and whatever whatever <laughs> whatever hit this spit right through the line so kind of gotta grit my teeth on that one <laughs> Dude, that's that's the problem. I mean, it's like four or five o'clock. The, the bite may not come again, so I hate missing bites because I have to leave soon. It's gonna get dark. So, all right, let's figure out uh, let's figure out something to tie on and let's see if we get bit again. Yeah, he was rattling it. Dude, I was just about to give up. <laughs> I was thinking, man, I'm done. I'm done. I'm not gonna catch another one. <laughs> there we go. Great, great to get another fish. I'm trying to change things up here. I'm trying to find them, changing the angles in which I'm bringing the bait. And changing baits. You saw me break off on the spinning gear. And I threw that for a little bit, but I didn't get any more bites on it. I was just about to give up, honestly. Now I got the fire back in me. Now we gotta keep casting. <laughs> oh God, good bite. Dude, such a small fish. Such a small fish, but he absolutely torched it. <laughs> I can't believe how good that bite was for the size of the fish. Dude, I thought it was a giant. <laughs> Small guy. Dude, he hit it so hard. There he goes. <laughs> you gotta love bay bass for the reason that pound for pound, they're one of the hardest hitters and hardest fighting fish, at least on this coastline. So good to get another one. I'm gonna redrift this stuff, change the angle. I was casting this direction, now I'm gonna cast this direction, see if I can get another fish. Dude, dude. Felt him smack it. 
missed him. Just had the claws. <laughs> Put the trailer on flip the jig upside down. Move the skirt out of the way. Run the hook through the middle of the bait and just roll it onto the hook shank. Over the hook keeper. Give the hook keeper a little push. Make sure it's straight. And there we go. We're back on. So let's see if we can get one right now. Oh, tick, tick, boom. Son, that's what's up. Seriously, tick, tick, boom. All right, not even a big one at all, but he, he tick, tick, boomed it. And he got boomed it. I took my claws off. I'm clawless now. I was really just zoning out right there, just thinking and concentrating on what the jig was doing. It was a great bite. That tick, tick, boom was awesome. I ran out of that one color, so I need to run something else. Again, with the Strike King Rage Craw. So a little different color presentation. Hopefully, hopefully we can still get them with this. I'm gonna keep with it for a little bit longer, so let's see if we can get some more fish. Sand bass on the A-Rig. Small guy. It was good to get back on the water and catch some fish. Right now I'm happy with any fishing that I'm doing especially if they're pulling on the line. I do want to get back on Mission Bay. It seems like the fish were grouped up in little schools. It's just a matter of finding those schools and really concentrating in those areas and hammering those fish to get them to bite. So I've been fishing that Warbaits 3 8 ounce bream swim jig for many months now. It's been in the videos quite a bit, so it's time to retire it. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off the line. I want you guys to drop some suggestions in the comment section below about what color warbait swim jig you want me to fish next. We have a lot of colors. I have fished them all, so I'm confident in all those jigs. Let me know what you want to see me fish. So the key to my bite today was that 3 8 ounce bream swim jig with the rage tail craw. The claws add a lot of action while moving, and that really fires those fish up. Also, another key to the bite was the drift sock. That thing really slowed down my drift and I was able to fish the water column more efficiently. Big shout out to Fastlane Kayaks for always setting me up with the right Hobie Kayak. They're family owned operation, really knowledgeable staff and just all around great people. Go ahead and give them a visit, call or email if you have any kayak questions. I want to thank you all for the support that you're giving Warbaits and this channel. We're growing and it's because of you. The channel's creeping up on 10,000 subscribers. I think we're going to hit that this year. When we hit that, it'll be a great small stepping stone to where we're going in the future. Thank you all out there for supporting the channel. And if you need any of that Warbait stuff, including some of the hats and some hoodies, we have those online right now at warbaits.com. Summer is creeping up, the bite's on. So get out there, go fish and hook that giant.